If you reverse time, then the universe is getting smaller. All right. What if I reverse the process all the way back to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Until you get the universe born from a black hole exploding. Um, it's, it's an amazing film. I mean, both Thank you and Eddie you. are absolutely brilliant. But it's a lot funnier and a little bit sexier than I thought it was <laughs> going to be for expecting. a film about a scientist, which could have been quite dull. Well, what what um, that that so much of the humour in the film came from meeting Jane and Stephen, and, and they're two people who are incredibly witty, um, sharp-minded, and, and and we kept finding these moments. Um, Stephen and Jane's children were very much involved and their youngest, Tim, would tell us, you know, there were moments when he was growing up and he'd put swear words into Stephen's voice box and, and would ride on Stephen's chair on the side and, and little moments like that where um, it was, you know, it's a normal family coping with this situation. So constantly we wanted to bring that reality, that, that way of dealing with the situation through humour into the film. You see how the men's shirts glow more than the women's dresses? Yes. Do you know why? Why? Tide. The washing powder. The fluorescence in the washing powder is caught by the UV light. Why do you know that? Now, you're a very successful actress. Think back to the very beginning, your very first performance as an actor. <laughs> this could, I'm not talking about which, the TV show that you did. Yes. I'm talking about at school or something like that. Yes. What was your first and probably your worst? performance ever? Well, I'd say one of my most bizarre moments was, um, you remember CITV? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, my, it was one of my first paid jobs, actually, was being dressed up as the letter V. So there were, four, there were, there were, I don't see ITV, there were four of us all dressed up as these huge letters, just sort of walking around Birmingham city centre, walking down steps and, and, um, and trying to get down without falling over. So that was my very glamorous Because that's not job. on IMDb. No. Uh, now the film is called The Theory of Everything, but in London, I think it's the London cabbies who have a theory on everything. Yes. Do you agree? I would say that's very, very true. But they have the right, you know, I, they have the right to, to, um, to, to, put forth these theories they know London so I'm always so amazed at how well they know London it's in, it's incredible there should be no boundary in a human endeavor however bad life may seem while there is life there is hope <laughs>